Welcome to TechWizards with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn uh, what are different tools uh, to write our Kusta query. So first of all, you really don't need a, a tool. Uh, you don't need to download any tool. Uh, once uh, uh, you have uh, Azure Data Explorer set up, you can go to the web.kusta.windows.net backslash clusters and uh, connect to your cluster and start working. Uh, so that's the easiest way uh, if you don't want to install uh, Kusta Explorer or uh, Azure Data Studio to connect to the uh, your cluster and write your uh, Kusta queries. So, but these uh, tools uh, provide you tons of uh, other features uh, that can be very helpful uh, if you install on Windows. Um, so instead of going to the web every time and uh, you know connecting through that one, you can uh, install Kusta Explorer or Azure Data Studio to connect to the uh, your uh, Azure Data Explorer and uh, work with your Kusta qu uh, queries. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look here. First of all, we are going to go to the web.kusta.windows.net slash clusters and uh, try to access our cluster from there. So see right there, that's my uh, Azure Data Explorer cluster. I'm going to click right there. In previous video, I show you how to create that uh, cluster. That's a URI that we can use uh, to connect. So if I go right here and uh, click, uh, let's say we click on the, uh, let me see right there. Okay, so I see web.kusto.windows that cluster. If I just remove this guy and uh, hit enter, uh, what's going to happen is they're going to by default uh, connect to the sample uh, uh, cluster right there. So you see right there, there is a sample and then you go to the tables, uh, you have uh, these uh, different uh, uh, tables available. Mostly in the demos I have seen people work with the store events that's uh, available free for you to work uh, and uh, learn about the uh, Kusto. So uh, if you want to search uh, or actually get the data from this table, you just have to type the table names like storms, events and uh, then pipe sign show up uh, where you can include the filter. So in this case, I'm going to go say take 10. That means uh, give me any 10 records, uh, you know, so that's it. Uh, so it is uh, your select top uh, 10 or something like that uh, from a select query. Uh, but uh, uh, you will be just putting the table. If you don't need anything, if you want to select all the record, you have entire table, uh, you put the table name and run the query. So it's going to get you all the data. So this uh, web.kusto.windows.net backslash clusters uh, provide you different uh, tabs here. You can have, uh, uh, let's say, see, this entire data is shown up right now. Okay, so you can go to the data and uh, then you have uh, other features here. You can ingest new data, create a new table, and uh, then you have uh, uh, other uh, kind of templates here that you can learn about it. Okay, we will go through this one later. Now, you can go to the query and that's where we wrote our query. Now, there is a dashboard, you can create a dashboard as well and we will do this one later on in our videos. So if you want to create the dashboard, you know, you can just log in and create the dashboard. Okay, so we go back here for now and work on our query part of it uh, and other tools instead of going to the these uh, the tabs. Uh, okay, now what we are going to do uh, if you would like to select the data or uh, retrieve the data from your cluster, you're going to click on add cluster and here you will provide a cluster name. You go to the portal.azure.com, go to your uh, Azure Data Explorer cluster and copy this URL and paste it uh, there. So that's the way you are just going to connect there. Okay, so you will add and then uh, it will start working. Uh, Okay, now let's cancel this out and go to the actual tools uh, that we need to install and uh, we can work with. The first of all, we are going to take a look on Kusto Explorer installation. Here you have uh, the URL that uh, I will put in the description and you can use it. So here are the directions how you can install and download it and uh, then uh, further uh, if you want to go and take a look uh, uh, how exactly it will look like. Uh, so here is your menu panel, here, here is your connection panel, here is a, a, a script panel and then you have a result pa uh, panel. Okay, so there's uh, different pens are available for you so you can work uh, with this. This is pretty good like uh, if you are using SSMS, uh, think about that how life is easy. Uh, you can uh, do uh, see the tables, see the definitions, uh, see if you want to um, export the results uh, or uh, in the render the results in charting and all that you can save the results to the clipboard and uh, you know you can do tons of things with this uh, um, tool so i'm going to go ahead and copy this uh, uh, url go to my vm and in the vm uh, we are going to download so i'm going to paste this url and once you paste that uh, it's going to bring you on this page and i'm going to download click on download it's uh, working and uh, say install and it's installing right now 
the size is 130 MB, pretty fast for my VM that because I, I choose a VM with a little more resources this time so I can work on this demo a little faster. So hit run and now you should be good to go. It should bring the Kusto Explorer pretty soon for us so we can connect to it and start working. Okay, so our Kusto Explorer is open uh, and uh, now we are all set uh, to start our uh, working with our cluster. So the very first thing is we need to do is to connect to our cluster. So remember that we have uh, this uh, portal.azure.com and here is our Azure Data Explorer cluster, right? So we are going to copy and uh, once it's copied, we are going to go back to our uh, Kusto Explorer and here are connections. So I was uh, do, giving a try on this all before. So uh, you can take a look, we can remove them, you know, if you want to, and uh, now we have no connection. So this is how the first time you're going to see, right click on the connection, add a connection, and here you will be providing uh, the name of your cluster, actually URL or whatever you call it. And then you can give the name or alias to your uh, connection. In my case, I'm just fine. Hit OK. And uh, now you got this error. It isn't say enough for bid and it is telling you you have a version show command on this port 443 that's not uh, uh, there so what we have to do uh, i was doing so this research i have to add our user okay so once i add my user there then i will be able to do that okay so let's go back and take a look here what we have so in the commands that this is the command i need to run so i will say add database then provide my database name and in the users i have to say MSA user and then uh, and uh, provide my is equal to my email address um, that I use uh, uh, for the permission. So I am going to add this user. Once I add that user, what's going to happen uh, if I go to the databases here? Let me take you to the databases right now. And uh, in the databases, uh, if you go to the permissions, uh, you have this user. So you have to create this MSA user if you want to connect to the Kusto Explorer uh, from there. Okay. So I already have that. Uh, I will put this in description as well and uh, no problem. So you should be running this in the query. And once you run it, it's going to add this uh, user right there for you and you should be good to go. Okay, so see right there, database tech browser user and uh, you can see all that information, Microsoft account identity and uh, this is my email. So now if I go back to the uh, database, refresh, I'm seeing this user right here and this uh, type is the MSA user. I have the link uh, for all the details here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to give you in the description so you can read more about MSA users and uh, why they needed it and all that. Okay, so we are good here. Let me go back to my VM and uh, I'm going to hit no and then come back again, Create, uh, try to create this connection again. So remember that we copied and pasted. So let me go back and copy the URL again. So here, this URL I need. And now I go back to my VM and uh, click on connection, add uh, connection. And then what we are going to do, we are going to just paste right there. Hit, hit OK. And now it is connected successfully. Now I can go ahead and write my query. So I already there. So if you want to say double click right there, so new query. And uh, you can keep uh, adding new queries uh, as you want. In. OK, now. In an open in a new tab. So every time I do that, it's going to open a new query right there. Okay. So that show tables. Uh, that uh, is uh, one of the query that can work. So let's see if we have any tables. It's going to show us the tables. As of now, we don't have any tables, so we are not going to get any results. See right there, no tables. Now there is another query I can use. Show database. So I, if I do that and uh, hit uh, execute right there, it's going to show me my database name and some other information version is, is current and all those kind of things, read, write and all that. Okay, so let's uh, do our hello word here. So how you do that uh, in the case, uh, we can say print and uh, I will say print. And now I will say welcome to Kusto tutorial and put single quotes around it and let's print it. So this is going to print uh, the uh, text for us and uh, this is how you will be working. Uh, in this uh, uh, tutorial, uh, I am using um, uh, this uh, Kusto Explorer and uh, uh, that's uh, 
I might not use uh, for the next queries or we will use it. It's not a big deal. We might use keep using the web UI uh, for our uh, uh, writing the other queries uh, in next uh, tutorials. But here is the connection. You can add multiple connections. Uh, you can have multiple connections for different clusters. And once uh, you do that, you can also use Kusto to join the data from multiple clusters. That's one of the features available as well. Now, uh, you can uh, actually do cross databases queries as well, join them, union them, and all that. Uh, we will learn in our uh, future tutorials. That's your connection. Uh, and uh, what you're going to do here, as we don't have tables here, it's not shown tables. If we would have tables, it will show us the tables here. So we will create the table in next uh, videos, and uh, I will show you guys. Uh, here is your uh, uh, menu pane, and uh, that's where you can uh, result to the clipboard, result to the uh, query to the clipboard. You can save the results to the clipboard or uh, save to the CSV file. Uh, you can have uh, a different type of charts available. If you get some results here, you want to see them in the line chart, time ladder, pie chart, and all that, that's available to you as well. So that's where you're going to write the queries, and uh, this is where your results are going to show up. Uh, that's what they were shown on the document. Uh, now, you are pretty familiar. If you want to go ahead and start using it, it's, uh, self uh, it does uh, self-explain a lot of features, so you don't have to worry. And uh, you have uh, the query windows here, so you can keep query opening new queries uh, if you want. Uh, so I see right there, you open a new query, and you can close the query if you want to. Okay, so then uh, you have other uh, uh, items here. You can save the file, you know, you can save all files. And uh, you have undo and all those kind of things, uh, but you have normally with the editor. So, so I don't want to spend tons of time on the editor itself. So let's go to the another one, uh, what we have learned. Um, so what we have learned, there is uh, another uh, uh, tool uh, that uh, can uh, be used to run the Kusto queries, and that's called our Azure Data Studio. So I'm going to copy this link, go to the same VM and install, and then we will connect uh, and see how that works for us. So let's open a new tab here. Go to the paste and uh, hit enter. Now, once we do that, and uh, here is uh, you have a Windows installation, you have a Mac install, Linux, and all that. So it's uh, uh, available for different flavors. And uh, we are going to go ahead and user install. The, so let's say user installation and hit run. It's, it is uh, going, going to run now our Azure Data Explorer. The user installer is not meant to be run as an administrator. If you would like to install Azure Data Studio for all users in this uh, system, download the system installer from the this document. Are you sure you want to do that? Yes. And then uh, I accept the terms. And then uh, I will say, go ahead and run Azure Data Studio. Create, um, don't create a start um, folder and all that if you don't want to. But in my case, I'm going to be just fine. OK, I hit uh, Next. Uh, I would like to create a desktop uh, icon. Hit Next and Install. It's uh, installing uh, Azure Data Studio. Azure Data Studio, honestly, is a pretty neat uh, tool. I try to use it for uh, connecting to SQL, uh, and I also use it for to connect to the uh, Kusto. So this, uh, um, this is lightweighted uh, kind of tool that can help you to connect to your SQL Server and uh, Kusto uh, uh, sources such as uh, Azure Data Explorer, and you can write your queries. And uh, you might have seen in my previous videos where I create Azure Data Factory uh, 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 tutorials, and I have used uh, when I have to quickly uh, write some queries on SQ Azure SQL database uh, uh, instead of installing uh, my SSMS that take a whole lot of time to install. Okay, so this is finished, and uh, let's launch it. This is all set, and what we have to do here, we have to create a, a new connection. So see right there, new connection. When we click on the new connection, it is uh, asking you connection types. So, so in this case, uh, it is uh, asking us uh, only SQL connection. So that's uh, where the problem is. Uh, we can have, we need to find Kusto extension for this guy. So what I'm going to do here, uh, I'm going to cancel this out. Let's see if I cancel and go to the some uh, extensions here and then try to find Kusto. So it has a KQL and let's install that. Installing right now. Installed. Looks good. Let's go back to our connections and then add connection. So see right there, now we have Kusto, Azure Data Explorer Kusto. Great. Now we have to provide the cluster name here. So we'll we go back to our main uh, Azure Data Portal, go to the our Azure Data Explorer cluster and copy the URI. 
And once we copy the URI, let me go back to my uh, Azure Data Explorer, sorry, Azure Data Studio. It take me a while <laughs> to get through this. And we are gonna hit a connector. Now it is asking you, hey, you need to select an account. So let me do that. So if I add an account and here it's uh, giving me uh, my login. So I'm gonna log in and let's see if it will log in and uh, Okay, your account has uh, logged in successfully. Great. Now let me make this uh, small again. And now they see this account is appearing there. And uh, now, wait a second, somebody's ringing the bell. Let me take care of it. So I am back and uh, you can see that account is added here and now you can tell uh, the database name. So if we just drop down here and uh, we can say, it's a net default DB. So we can provide a database name here in case, uh, let me type it. Actually, let me go back here and uh, get a database name and I go to database and here I'm gonna copy the database name. Right there, we paste it. Now it is getting net default database. So it's okay. Let's see what it uh, connect to and uh, we connect and it should connect to our invalid course of connection using API query. Connection scheme, okay. So let's see what it is. Authentication method. Let's say user authentication. And if we do that, let me change my, what is the, connection type. So let's go back here. URI is right. Copy this and go back here. This is also the kind of first time I'm connecting here. Okay, so it's a, uh, that should do it. And then now what we should do, connect. So it was, it looks like uh, we were trying to change that database name, that's where the problem was. So let's uh, leave that default because it's gonna bring all the databases here anyways. So no big deal. So once we are here, we should be good to go. And here is your database. I don't have any tables or anything like that. And now you can go ahead and say new, new query. And now what we are gonna do here, we are going to do dot show tables, okay? So once I do that, I can go ahead and run my query and uh, there is no table. Remember that uh, we don't have any table as of now and we can do the same thing. We can uh, do print and here we will say, welcome to Custo tutorial. Okay, so I believe you can make it large and all that, but uh, you know, I'm gonna just leave this as it is for now. So welcome to Custo tutorials. Okay, so this is how you will be connecting uh, to your Kusto, uh, uh, data Azure Data Explorer uh, by using uh, your uh, Azure Data Studio, okay? So there are multiple ways we learn from here, Azure uh, Data Studio, second one is uh, Kusto Explorer, and uh, the third one we learn here, going to the web UI. Honestly, I might be just uh, stick with the web UI and uh, just work on this one instead of uh, going to the those are tools. Um, I mean, but if I, there is a need, I will go there. But uh, if you are in the URL right here, you go to the database uh, and in the database, uh, what you're gonna click on the database and uh, you can directly go to the query. And from the query, once uh, this open, uh, you can always say open in web UI. And uh, that is a uh, much neater and uh, you can see all those information there. You can uh, add the cluster or other clusters and uh, keep working on it. Uh, so I hope uh, this video will help. Uh, thank you very much for watching and I will see you guys uh, in next videos.